Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is on the shield, of course, and uh, oh yes, it is time to play some Battlefield 3. I'm uh, doing uh, a bit of a death team deathmatch actually on the Quarry, uh, or it it's in a Quarry, but the, the map is called oh god something Peak. I don't remember. God, I suck with with names. <laughs> and I get a little bit of lag as usual. God damn it. I need some more ROM. I think it's the ROM because it lags more if I have Firefox open. And that shit takes up like 300 megabytes of ROM. But uh, in other news, I hope you guys like the new intro with the, the professionally made Anders Ale text instead of the the yellow and blue. I like the yellow and blue since it's a Swedish flag, of course, but uh, it's still pretty awesome to actually get the intro made by someone who actually works with this stuff and who is a professional. Uh, the, uh, the name of the guy who made it is Kuba Michalski. Uh, I think he is uh, Turkish, actually. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he's Turkish, actually. And we got a good knife. Very nice. Excellent. So. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, he actually uh, he works as a real, uh, real uh, vid video sp um, effect specialist or what the hell you call it. Uh, I'm I'm really bad at names and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, you guys probably already know that. <laughs> uh, and uh, he actually had some time over this weekend and just sent me a message and say, hey Anders, if you want to, I can can make you make your answer look a, a hell of a lot better and yeah, I said fuck yes <laughs> since he he actually didn't ask for anything in return and uh, I really like that I, I hate it when people uh, ask if uh, if they if they should do something for you and when you say yes then they say oh I want this and that and this and mention me in a video he didn't yeah, do anything of that so uh, he seems like a great guy so I bas basically decided to to kind of mention his name at least, ah, it doesn't matter because he he's not trying to get big on YouTube or anything like that, but I'm gonna post his website and his YouTube page anyways Enemy if you guys soldier. get interested in seeing what what else kind of stuff he made. It, his YouTube is mostly made for, for showing his employ employers and stuff like that to what kind of work he can do. It's not to show off on YouTube like, like I do, so to say, <laughs> because YouTube is basically my job right now, so I'm, I'm pretty good I'm happy about that. And uh, I'm doing a bit of like Enemy camping here. I mean, uh, this is not really about being being a guy who plant and don't camp and stuff like this. Since it's team deathmatch, you should stay alive as much as possible and make sure to kill the enemy. So I actually don't really feel that bad camping right now. And if you hear the little beeping, that's actually the the the, the sensor module thingy. I actually don't remember what the hell it's name, but uh, it, it's pretty goddamn awesome because uh, it shows you kind of where all the enemies are, so I can kind of stick my head out and shoot people uh, in the in the right in the right place, so to say. I don't know why some guy just threw in a, a nade there, a friendly nade, but it's kind of weird. And uh, yeah, I, I really like Team Deathmatch, I gotta say. Uh, I mostly only play Rush, uh, I mean, ever. Uh, I, I never played anything else in, in Bad Company 2. And uh, I, I think I played mostly Conquest when I played Battlefield 1942 as a kid. Uh, but And also Vietnam, I, I played Conquest mostly. But I never really played Conquest or Team Deathmatch or Squad Deathmatch or anything like that in any of those games. And only Bad Company 2 had those, I, I believe, so it kind of would have been kind of hard to do it on any of the others. But uh, I really like it. I found some great servers with 100 tickets and 200 and 350. But I gotta say, I kind of prefer 200 and 100 tickets. Because when you kind of go up to 300 tickets, eh, it gets too messy, so to say. I mean, mm, I, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but but the game's kind of prolonged. Everything gets destroyed. You can't. You don't have any cover anymore, and especially on on servers where where RPGs are allowed and M M24 the the nade launch or the noob tube is allowed and places like that. That kind of kind of destroys stuff basically. But as you can see, I'm doing a lot of like looking around, making sure I know where the enemy is. And looking at the map and stuff like that, so I get behind these guys, uh, headshot him, 
And then I'm just gonna go and take this guy too with the Glock 18. And if you guys are wondering what kind of setup I have, I have the 3.4 scope and the uh, straight pull and uh, the... Oh gosh, 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 the laser sight, uh, laser pointer, who, gi who gives a crap, basically, because uh, it, it blinds your enemy in close quarters like this, it's, ca it's useless when it's longer ranges, but uh, it's good in close combat because you can blind your enemy and uh, you also get a, a, a bit better hip shot, so to say, when you're not, when you're not zoomed in, so to say, so uh, I like it. And uh, I do manage to get a few handshots. I actually got some some uh, better videos I'm actually gonna save for you guys for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, on different maps, it's still a team deathmatch. Uh, one where I kicked some serious butthole. And I'm really happy about that one. And uh, god, the sun is so annoying sometimes. Uh, I'm trying to like look in here, but the sun is like shining in my eyes every single fucking time. So it's like annoying like crap. And a lot of you guys have been asking for sniper tutorials. And to, to be real honest, I don't really know how to, to tutorial it more than the class itself. The sniping, you, you, you can't really give people a tutorial on how to snipe because uh, it, it's all I, I do it mostly by feel since as long as when an enemy is moving, there's no guarantee you're gonna hit him no matter where you aim. Uh, you, you basically have to, uh, if, if you're gonna always get a headshot, he needs to be standing still or the enemy needs to be standing still or else there's no guarantee for it basically so it's kind of hard to give a guarantee on something like that but uh, as you can see uh, I'm finishing with uh, with actually a really good score so I was uh, really happy about this game this was one of the very first team deathmatch I actually played and uh, I gotta say I love it uh, I'm gonna play a lot more team deathmatch I mean it's kind of a bit too much like Call of Duty but still uh, it's, it's really fun to play like this sometimes and I'm, I'm gonna leave you guys with the score screen so thank you so very much for watching as usual have a wonderful day bye bye